Yeah, we'll definitely see these teams at Yankee Stadium if Tottenville doesn't come up and show up. So, yeah, we Polly does not get the respect that's due to them. Hey, people need to start paying homage to Polly Prep. People don't like really grasp the difficulty of, of schedules. I mean, we're, we're playing like teams all over the nation. So, I honestly feel Polly needs to be number one in New York right now. This is the argument that's been going all over. And we've been talking about it. We've been talking about it. We're in the stands talking about it. I, I personally think Polly would destroy every team in the PSAL. The only team that can really that can really keep up with Polly, at least lose to Polly by three touchdowns, is Lincoln. I would say so. I mean, technically and schematically, I mean, I think Polly is just a powerhouse. Six guys on our team are going D1. Jose, I, I don't want to call him out, but he said, clearly, I believe I am the best at what I do in the city. He said the team that would win this game can compete with Polly. And he went on to say Erasmus was the best team in New York. Jose, I love you, man. Titans, Brooklyn Titans for life, man. You family, you always family, you always welcome in my house, but it, it didn't happen. I do like the shoes. A little something, a little something, something. The Titanic, they, they're like not both the shoes. Fans. Polly got me doing this, man. Yeah, a little Christmas look. He gave me the Christmas look. Yeah, I told you I don't, I don't take down the Christmas tree. I keep the Christmas tree up all year. I actually canceled my weekend at Notre Dame today to come see Holly and just show them that I really care. They have like all these like recruits and they want me to go to Notre Dame to, to recruit them up and seal the deal. And I'm saying, look, what up, baby? I got somebody right right in my backyard who I want to play with for four years and be on the field and, and be on defense line, put my hand in the dirt with him. So I might as well come to his game. Yeah, man, don't let Curtis convince you about this Ohio thing. Man. I can't, I can't take it. Yeah, no today. <laughs> no today. We out here. We got 24 carat gold helmets. Gold helmets, baby. That's, that would be beast. That's, that's that would be beast. That's scary. Two New York dudes going to South Bend, Indiana, sharing the Brooklyn love and flavor, singing some Biggie Small, some little something, something. The fans would love it. Who's better, Lincoln or Polly? Am I wrong? Polly. Polly. Hey, you can go with Lincoln. You can go with Lincoln, Tom, but you know, he knows it's Polly. He knows it's Polly. He knows it's Polly. I'm going to have to play a game one day and just it, battle it out and see what happens. Whatever school Thomas picks, man, I'm, I'm with him. He's a great person. Polly's no more, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to keep bothering him. I'm going to keep bothering him with it. He does this all the time. All the time. <laughs>